Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maca here playing Forza Motorsport 5. This is the head over heels achievement, which is for flipping your car. Now there's a ton of ways to get this accidentally, but I'm showing you a guide for a surefire 100% method. You're going to need about $100,000 to $200,000, uh, depending on how easy you want to make it on yourself. The first thing you're going to do is buy a Land Rover, Range Rover, supercharged. You can paint it whatever the hell you want. It doesn't matter. If you're going to do it in style, then you're going to paint it freaking safari colors like me. The next step is to go to the upgrade shop, and you're going to need to buy quite a few upgrades. Now, you can do a few of the things a little bit differently than me. I'm going to tell you the most important upgrades to get, and then you can kind of make your own decision based on how much money you have. I had a, over a million dollars, so I didn't really mind. Um, the first thing you're going to want to go is uh, buy the racing springs and dampers, and you're going to want to get the best ones. Next up, you're going to want to get the uh, race wing and race uh, front bumper. Uh, basically, those are the two uh, spoilers that you can get. And you can technically do the achievement with just those two upgrades. Um, I also get right here, you see me get all of the engine upgrades. That's because I have a lot of money. You don't need to get all of them, but I do recommend upping your horsepower at least a little bit. Um so that your car will go faster and you'll make you'll get the achievement really 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 easily also you can upgrade your transmission and your clutch which you'll see me do and that's just so i shift better and reach a faster top speed in a quicker um in a shorter distance again i have the money it's not a hundred percent 100 percent necessary uh to get the all the engine upgrades or the transmission and clutch upgrades so now once you've done that you're not quite ready yet you're still going to need to tune your car to uh, make it favorable for this achievement so what are the tunes you're going to need you're going to need to use those race springs and dampers to give your car maximum stiffness and maximum height that's what she said so go to the springs tab um turn down your height all the way to the maximum which is like 11 inches off the ground um and then or yeah and then your uh, springs make them as stiff as possible this will make sure that your car is super like tall and super rigid so it won't have that much flex in it uh which is favorable for flipping and then for arrow turn down um max speed uh for both your rear and front um aerodynamics now from then on you finally have your car that's ready to go we're not quite ready though we're gonna need to set up a race so i recommend doing this in free play mode you're going to want to select the track Sebring Full Circuit, and then you can set any amount of AIs. You can set any difficulty and any laps that you want. For simplicity's sake, I set up one AI on very, very easy and one lap. That's just because that's what I felt like doing that day, and really you can do anything you want here, although recommended one AI makes it a little bit easier. Now you're ready to start your race. Before you do start the race, if you have the options, make sure you turn on simulation steering. This is not necessary, but it makes it a lot easier to make your car start wiggling and uh, perform the flip. So we are finally on the track. What we're gonna wanna do is flip your car around 180 degrees and start heading the other way. What we're going for is we're going for that very long straight on the Sebring circuit. Um, that's right before the finish line. So if you turn it around, you'll get there faster. And then from then on there, you're gonna wanna catch as much speed as you can going on the straightaway. You'll see me here um, starting on the opposite end that you would start at. That's just because I had screwed it up the first time. You're going to want to go in a straight line and catch as much speed as you can. I recommend going at least 100 to 120 miles per hour. Once you do that, you're going to want to get your car on the grass and uh, just basically pull a drift. You're going to want to make your car go one way. That actually didn't count for me for whatever reason. Uh, I guess I didn't do a big enough flip. You're going to want to steer your car one direction, then go the other direction, and just keep going back and forth like that, pointing your tires into um, the other direction that you're turning. So if I start going, flipping out my back um, to the left side of the screen, I'm going to pull my steering to the left to bring my back back around to the right-hand side, if that makes sense. I will show you an in-car view, just so you can see exactly what I do with my steering wheel. I'll show you another two or three times, just to show you how easy it is to get this achievement. But you're gonna wanna get up to 100, 100 miles an hour, like I said, and then um, point your car into the direction of the grass, and just start fishtailing your car as much as pos possible. And eventually, during one of those fishtails, this car will flip. The tune and the upgrades that you're gonna have on it are literally making it a flip magnet. There you go, you see me steering, counter-steering my drift, and I did like eight flips there. I'm going to show you again 
Um, another time, just for good measure here, um, the out of car view so you can see exactly what I do. You can take a look, good look at my wheels if you're wondering what I'm doing with them. Anyways, guys, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you found this video useful or informational. Those are the three things that help my channel grow and let me keep making videos for you guys. So it's pretty important to me if you could help me out. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, I hope to see you in one of my next videos or another time, sometime here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Peace.